so let us see a question from network and in this question we are asked we have to find out i in 5 5 ohm register okay now a uh, solution of this question is not important uh, you can solve this question by many methods but the solution but the learning from the solution is going to be important okay so so that uh, similar question if you get anywhere in exam in test series or in pyq you should make sure that you will be able to solve that question correctly okay and uh, also you should be able to solve it in minimum time also okay so uh, to solve this you can solve it by you know a super node method there is a super node and you can assume here v1 and then voltage v2 and you know v1 minus v2 is 20 and then you can apply kcl at v1 and kcl at v2 and uh, then you can solve it okay so uh, that method is also you know uh, good to solve it but uh, another method is uh, you can use the source transformation here okay so uh, current is connected register in parallel of current source then uh, it can be v equals to i into r so it can be 30 volt and then one resistor will be here 3 ohm then 3 ohm and 2 ohm will be in series and it will be 5 ohm and uh, you will have a voltage and uh, in series register so again you can apply source transformation and make it a current source in parallel with some register and again you do this so uh, you can solve this part okay so i'm also not going to solve it by that method so uh, i want to uh, you know utilize you uh, what you know okay so the basic thing you know is rth and vth okay so at my preparation i i literally used to utilize it maximum times okay so i i, I even used to utilize it in in the transistors also in transistors question also when you have a transistor and uh, the there is a biasing and base base register is connected to vcc and then base to uh, emitter also we have a register so i emit so whenever i used to get chance now i used to apply this rth and vth thevenin resistance and thevenin uh, voltage so here also I am going to use that method and that is going to be you know a short method I can say and that is going to be less time consuming okay. So uh, this network is creating problem right uh, because uh, 120 volt and uh, between two node one voltage is connected and then uh, here we can not uh, apply source transformation in this because uh, this uh, will be uh, distorted okay because uh, we, we want current in this 5 ohm. So what we can do is we can uh, you know. Uh, uh, solve or uh, you, so we can make a make an it shorten this network so what i am going to do here, here is i am going to calculate rth and vth from here okay so then uh, what kind of circuit i will have i will have one vth and then in series i will have rth and then uh, we have connected this plus minus 20 volt battery and then one resistor 5 ohm and then again 10 volt dc and then one resistor 2 ohm okay so this circuit uh, i will be uh, you know left with so uh, this is the current i and this is what i need to find it out okay now uh, let us find out from here uh, rth if you find out the rth is going to be you know uh, you will um, make open this 10 ampere current source and from this if you find out rth between these terminal let us call it a and this is b so what it, it is going to be this is going to be 3 to 5 this will be series once this is open okay i will make it open once this is open no current will come in this branch and then here current will be zero so whatever current will be coming from here it will come 2 to 3 right so 2 and 3 is going to be in series so it is going to be what 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 and then this 1 ohm is in parallel with this 5 so rth from this directly what you can write is 5 ohm in parallel with 1 ohm right so it is going to be 5 by 6 ohm so rth i am done with and then i will go to uh, vth and vth is going to be what open circuit voltage so uh, for that uh, we will not be removing this okay so uh, this source was there no and uh, yeah 10 ampere source was there and uh, we will not be removing this for calculating vth okay so 10 ampere source will be there now uh, we have to find out vth vth is open circuit voltage so this branch will be disconnected from this 20 volt 10 volt 5 ohm 2 ohm so only this is there right so see uh, 2 ohm and 1 ohm then will be in series right because no current from there will be go will be going in 20 volt so this will be in a series and the current which is coming from here will come in 2 and 1 so see 3 ohm is there and in parallel with this 3 ohm and total current is coming total current is coming like this 
so this 10 ampere current is coming so 3 ohm this and 3 ohm this branch so both branch have equal resistance then current will also be divided equally right so 5 ampere will go here and 5 ampere will go here so a 5 ampere current is coming then a voltage across this 1 ohm what you can write is vtx that is nothing but vtx so i into r the current is coming 5 right and resistance is 1 so vtx what you got 5 volt so uh, I have taken time to explain you, but easily uh, within uh, you know uh, ten seconds you could write it VTH and RTH. So RTH what you got is five by six, okay, and then VTH what you got five volt. Now what you need is I. So here uh, you can say this is voltage V, and then you can apply KCL here. So if you apply KCL at V, so it is going to be V minus five on my on plus twenty this this voltage okay so v minus 5 plus 20 divided by resistance is 5 by 6 okay and then uh, again outgoing current we have is v minus 10 by 5 right and uh, here also outgoing current we can write is v by 2 okay and uh, this is one equation and another thing what we can write is see this i is what current is going in 5 ohm so what we can write it is v minus 10 divided by 5 this is nothing but what this is i okay so from this v what we can write 5i plus 10 okay let us call it equation 2 now let us solve this equation and then from this what we will get 6 into v minus 5 and by 5 okay so this is going to be v plus 15 okay this 20 minus 5 is going to be 15 and then v plus 15 into 6 by 5 plus v minus 10 by 5 plus v by 2 equals to 0 so this is 0 right so from this what we will get is 6v plus v it is going to be 7v plus 15 6 90 minus 10 80 okay and plus v by 2 equals to 0 okay so if you solve this now let us solve this here so it is going to be uh, 7 to the 14 14 v plus 160 plus 5 v is going to be 0 so it is going to be what 90 v 19 v plus equals to minus 160 okay so v uh, from there if you write it is going to be 90 5 i plus 10 equals to minus 160 okay so it is going to be a uh, 95 i and uh, then uh, plus 190 equals to minus 160 okay so it will be what 5 and then 3 minus 350 so i is going to be minus 350 by 95 so i if you divide it to minus 350 so what you will get is okay it will be minus 3 point minus 3 point 6 8 so this is the current you will get so uh, the uh, you know motive to so, to uh, solve this question is you should uh, know uh, when we can use this rth and vts so this is going to be very important generally what happens is people are using this when when a question is asking about it okay so uh, you have to be smart enough and uh, to make the circuit you know simpler you should uh, utilize this we will see more problem when I will be utilizing this VTH and RTH uh, thevenin uh, voltage and thevenin uh, resistance method uh, to uh, to you know making the circuit simple. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is how you should solve uh, such questions. Now uh, let us uh, go to the more questions, the community post questions. Okay, so the first question we have is from mathematics, and the question is from mathematics and the question is if lambda is eigen value of a matrix a then matrix a minus lambda i is now how what should be uh, you know what, what what is coming in your mind when you uh, read this question that is going to be important okay because uh, we are not some people will say uh, that uh, how to solve this we are it, it is not uh, you know clicking in our mind how to solve such type of question so uh, what we are given if I, I want to tell you one thing is if you are not getting anything uh, out of the question now uh, then uh, you should go with the question okay you should go with the flow what question is saying okay so uh, what is question is if lambda is eigen value of matrix a okay so uh, then the matrix a minus lambda i now you should uh, you know focus on this term if you are not getting anything uh, how to solve such type of question and the questions are given whether it is 
orthogonal uh, skew symmetric singular or uh, none of those then uh, what you should do is you should go uh, you know you should be able to uh, find out in question something that you know okay so a minus lambda i is you have been using to find out the characteristic equation okay so a minus lambda i to find the correct equation you make the determinant of a minus lambda i equals to 0 right this is what you know right so uh, a minus lambda i is again a matrix okay and uh, you make its determinant 0 to find out this is called a characteristic equation right so i am telling you how you should uh, you know think otherwise solution is not important no so thinking or thought process development is important right so uh, you know uh, determinant of, of a minus lambda i equals to 0 you have been using this to find out the you know uh, eigen values and then you will find an eigen vector and all so if its determinant is 0 it means the matrix whatever it is whose determinant is 0 is called what singular matrix right so this is how you should approach such type of question that is whenever you are not getting anything what is written in the question or it is not clicking in your mind then what you should do is you should just go by you know word by word from the question if you have time right otherwise in the first round you have to skip such type of question if it is not clicking okay so uh, what you have to do is you should go with the question what question is saying and just uh, know uh, just uh, note down the term which is given in the question you know okay so from this question you know this a minus lambda i and you have you should able to link it with the characteristic equation and then uh, it will be automatically you know uh, will be uh, clicking to you right so the correct option is for this question is c now let us see uh, more questions so next question we have is from control system okay so what question is for the unity negative feedback control system has a open loop transfer function gs so open loop transfer function oltf we are given gs equals to 9 by s into s plus 4 then decay rate of the system okay this may look uh, new term to some people so the decay rate decay rate formula is 1 by zeta omega n okay so this is uh, just uh, simply formula based i have given this question to know the term this decay ratio because generally uh, people are not aware of it what a decay ratio is, decay rate is okay so from this uh, you have to find out the zeta omega n and then you have to take its reciprocal uh, that is going to be answer now let us find out uh, for that uh, let us find out first uh, OL, uh, cltf right so cltf is going to be what 9 by s into s plus 4 plus 9 okay so it is going to be a 9 by s square plus 4s plus 9 so now if you compare it s square plus omega n square plus 2s zeta omega n that is what s square plus 4s plus 9 if you compare it uh, from this you can you can get uh, omega n natural frequency is 3 right because omega n square is 9 and then omega n is going to be 3 so from this uh, zeta omega n okay so 2 zeta omega n what you will get is 4 and then zeta omega n you are going to get what 2 so reciprocal of it 1 by zeta omega n what you will get 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 okay so this is nothing but what decay rate so it is going to be uh, c answer correct let us see uh, another problem so next problem is from uh, analog circuit or analog electronics so what question is given is a transistor rc coupled amplifier designed for magnitude of voltage gain 20 so the we are designing an rc coupled amplifier to have a gain voltage gain is 20 but measurement at a particular frequency shows the gain to be 14 so you should know that uh, the response for the gain for rc amplifier is like this this is a maximum gain and uh, here we have is cutoff frequency fc okay so at cutoff frequency what happens is this magnitude is 1 by root 2 times of peak magnitude that is 0 0.7 of a naught okay this is nothing but what 0 0.7 a naught is 70 percent of peak okay now what 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 in the question given is magnitude uh, the gain was 20 and at particular frequency if we measure the gain has uh, dropped down to 40 14 okay so at what percentage it is uh, dropped down so if you observe it it is a 20 upon 20 into 1 by root 2 times so if you see 20 into 0 0.7 this is what 14 okay so uh, you should be able to you know uh, link the question or relate the question with the what you have already you know what you have already seen right so uh, this is dropping then you should uh, again you immediately you, you you have to you know uh, relate it 
uh, how the magnitude of gain are dropping in the response okay so if you uh, are doing this so you will be able to solve it okay so this has become 14 now when it happens at cutoff frequency and you know uh, the expression for the gain is a naught by 1 plus j f by f c right now at cutoff frequency the gain is what minus 10 inverse f by f c right now if at a cutoff frequency f equals to f you put what you will get is you will get alert here minus 10 inverse okay at f c at cutoff frequency uh, face what you will get minus 10 inverse f c by f c right so it is going to be what minus 10 inverse 1 and then it is a minus 45 so magnitude of gain is going to be 45 so this is how you should approach such type of question okay so you should be able to relate what you have already you know studied right so uh, the correct option with this is d okay so next question we have is from digital electronics okay so the question is the decimal value of for i triple e seven five four single precision number and what number we are given okay yeah number is this 32 bit uh, single precision number we are given and we are asked to find out the decimal value now how to find out the decimal value the formula we have is plus minus 1 plus mantissa into 2 to the power exponent okay and this exponent uh, you know uh, if it is given in 32 bit the first bit is sine bit and the second 8 bit or next 8 bit we have so this is a 1 bit this is 8 bit is what exponent this is a dash actually a dash so where we have a bias ad added in this okay and the next 23 bit or remaining 23 bit we have is mantissa okay so this e dash we have 8 bit so first bit is saying if s is 1 the number is negative if s is 0 then number is positive so from uh, the uh, number we are given uh, s is 1 okay so from this what we can conclude the number is going to be negative so all options are negative okay now let us move uh, next 8 bits we are going to have what exponent dash okay so next 8 bit from 0 to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so from 0 to this 0 okay so uh, let us write 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 and then 0 okay now let us write it's this is in binary and we have to write in a decimal so it's going to be what 1 2 4 8 and then 16 this is a 32 and then this is going to be 64 okay so this is going to be 2 3 uh, 2 1 3 and then 7 8 15 and then this is going to be what 31 and then it is going to be a 60 63 right 63 plus 64 uh, 127 okay so what we got is 124 63 okay this is 1 2 4 okay this, this won't be added and it is going to be 124 yeah this in decimal it is a 124 right 12 and then 16 means 28 and then it's going to be what 60 yeah 60 and 60 and 4 it is going to be 124 yeah so uh, this is what this is a e dash and from this in the formula we need e so to find out e dash e dash formula you know e plus bias okay now bias if it is 32 bit bias is 2 to the power n minus 1 for 32 bit n is 8 so 2 to the power 8 minus 1 minus 1 so this is a 2 to the power 7 minus 1 and 2 to the power 7 you have is 128 minus 1 so it is going to be 127 so e dash equals to e plus 127 then e what you will get is 124 minus 127 so e is going to be minus 3 okay so uh, we needed exponent mantissa and the sine so uh, sine we have calculated and then exponent also we calculated uh, we have to find the mantissa okay so the remaining all the bits are for mantissa okay so how do we write mantissa uh, we will be we are starting towards left from 2 to the power 0 and towards right we will be starting from 2 to the power minus 1 so for the first bit 2 to the power minus 1 second bit 2 to the power minus 2 for third 2 to the power minus 3 and so on okay so except the second bit all the bits are 0 then uh, we have the you know mantissa what we will have is uh, this is a uh, uh, 2 to the power minus 2 into 1 okay so this is a 1 by 4 and this is a 0 0.25 okay 
So uh, if we write um, M, A, E and then S in this formula, so we are going to get negative and 1 plus mantissa we have is 0 0.25 into 2 to the power exponent means E, E is minus 3. So it is going to be minus 1 point, okay, it is going to be minus 1.25 divided by 8. So uh, you will get minus 0 0.15625. So this is going to be decimal value. So correct option we have is D. So uh, this is how you should be able to solve it. So this is for 32 bit. Okay. So if any question in future you see such type of question in exam or in test series, you should be able to uh, make it correct. Okay. So this is the you know attitude you should have. That is today onwards whatever question you are solving uh, from anywhere you are solving. So the attitude you should have is uh, whatever question you have solved and even if you made it wrong. But uh, you see it, uh, its solution and then you know how, how uh, you know it, uh, it was supposed to uh, solve, then uh, you should have uh, the attitude is uh, today onwards if you see any such type of question anywhere, okay, you should not, uh, you know, make it wrong again, right. So then only uh, you will improve, okay. So yeah, we have seen their solution and this is how, uh, this, this was for 32 bit and if, if biasing, if you see for uh, 64 bit then it is going to be 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. So formula is same but the n will be changed. So for uh, 64 bit what it is first bit as for 32 bit 1 bit is for sine bit and the remain next 11 bit okay next 11 bit we have for exponent and remaining how many are remained uh, 52. So remaining uh, 52 bits uh, we will have uh, these are the 52 bits. So these are for uh, you know uh, mantissa okay. So for this, if you find out exponent or e, what or the biasing, so bias if you find out it is going to be 2 to the power 11 minus 1 minus 1, okay. 2 to the power 10 is 124 minus 1, it is going to be 123, 100, uh, 1023, okay. So uh, the, this is all about this video, we have seen the community post uh, problems solution and uh, we will end this video here. So uh, yeah.